We're hearing a lot of numbers and I know it's very easy to get desensitized. And so I want to just recalibrate for a second about the numbers that we're seeing. Here in Harris County, in our community, we are crossing 2,500 deaths from coronavirus. That is 2,500 families who've lost somebody. Imagine if in any event we lost 2,500 lives and we cannot become desensitized to that. I also want to delve a little deeper into the latest information and, and try and put things into context. Remember in June and July, we had an enormous spike. We were routinely exceeding base hospital capacity at our medical center. And 1,200 people died in the month of June. So out of those 2,500, 1,200 of those deaths were in June. We are tracking a very similar trajectory maybe even worse than what we had leading into that June and July date. If you look at the positivity rate, uh, right now we're about 9%. It's lower than what it was back there, but back then, but we're doing a lot more testing now. And so before it only used to be people who had symptoms. So that's that. Right now we're seeing many more cases than we were back then, around a thousand cases a day. That's a huge number, but it might also be a little misleading because we had a case backlog back then that we didn't receive from the state and process until later. The hospitalizations, though, are very concerning. The ICU population is crossing 18% now, and that, that increase is accelerating, and the rate of acceleration is increasing. So that ICU COVID-positive population is what we're watching that is approaching and very quickly about to exceed the numbers we saw before that crisis. A vaccine is coming, that is hope, but it's not gonna be here on time to where we don't need to do the work right now to stop these numbers. So please get tested and please do not interact uh, with folks outside your household without a mask. Thank you.